Yeah, the Jets have had a good season so far. Expect them to put the pressure on the Bruins here tonight. Oh, it's a late hit. Ref clearly showing a blind eye here tonight. Let's go. I don't know what's opening up in the scoring. But it doesn't matter. The Bruins find a way to put a one on the board. Playing in some low scoring games recently. The hot, like, five plus goals a game average for Boston has come down since the beginning of the season, but it's all about getting wins any way possible right now. Well, I think that's normal to go on throughout the season. A lot of teams are finding their stride with their chemistry and lines, putting out better defensive cores on the ice. Tripping. Dude, oh my god, I'm so fucking sick of the AI defenseman being in the way of the bully. Get out of your own crease, bro. It's almost like the AI had uh, one of them Logitech wireless controllers. Shrieking up the right side, left unmarked. Adam Oates found him. Let's go! It feels like the Bruins are really finding their stride here in this game during the second period.
We'll take it. Come on, boys. Oh. Nice. First, is that the first penalty tonight? It is indeed. Wow. Uh, it's definitely the first game of my NHL 94 season that the first penalty didn't come until the third period. I'll tell you that. Oh, let me give him a quick shorty. Oh, that sucked. Oh, look. That's freaking... Keith Kachuk, not on the normal starting five, somehow finds his way onto the penalty kill line and scores what will likely be one of his only points of the season. And it's a big one. So pulls the Jets back within one here on the shorthanded situation. If they can find a tire here, that would be incredible. But they give it away to Cam Neely. He shrieks up the ice. Looks for Adam Oates. Shot. Oh, I think that was saved by his own defenseman that time. Adam oh, Oates has really such a quick release. I'm surprised that one doesn't find the back of the net. Two men on the Winnipeg side behind the other goal line, but Timo Tulani takes a man down from behind. No call. Oh, here goes Adam Oates now. One on one against the goalie. Oh, he couldn't get that backhand out in time. No! Where's that pass going? That should have been a goal. Ray Bork and his off this guy nobody takes more off puck penalties by the AI than Ray frickin Bork and then another one and they're gonna put us down 5v3 for the last 49 seconds as both Boston defensemen decide they hate their lives how do I get this guy on the frickin ring David Shaw literally jumped on the ice for about 1.2 seconds and collects a penalty within that 1.2 seconds. He's really showing the coaches why he should not be on the ice ever. Adam Oates, what a big brain play that was. What a kill. Oh, trying to freeze it. Oh, interesting. 6v3. Can he win the face off? He can. But they steal it right back. Wow. Unreal. Good for you, bud. Nice goal. I can't believe you got that in. The oh. Bruin flame from the second period has been put out. Out. Uh -huh. No longer on fire. That was frustrating, man. God damn. Fucking penalties, man. Nobody back for defensively there. Oh, wow. Oh, and we get a penalty shot. Nice. Adam Motes cuts on in from the left side. That's a little spinner. <gasps> Almost finds the... I oh, thought that was going in. He left that side open, and his goalie just stick saved that. Sh oh my god! I'm so ringing. Off my whole throat. team just went up ice. Almost left us in. I feel like I just saw about three trips there. Let's Shoot. see what we get for the call. 
Two minutes for Phil. Wow. The Bruins sure handed. Or I'm sorry. The Bruins on the power play tonight. Yeah, not been I gave up fucking two shorties, man. Fucking comeback blow. Ugh!